G'day viewers, it's Michael here again and welcome back to Single Racer. And now I've mentioned on previous occasions that the best thing about being lucky enough to get into the beta program of Automobilist 2 is it allows me to try things before they drop for the main uh, sim and you know you get to test it out a little bit and that was the case this time as well. And so what it allows me to do is come over here to the Reza forums and I can get a, a visual on what the next update is. And in this case, it's version 1.0.44. And if we just click on it as the example and um, we go to the, uh, where is it here? The first page where it has all the um, updates here what they've done I've just gone past it a bit is they've uh, changed the maybe it might be here in the um, version uh, 3 is updated the force feedback system by adding uh, a dampening slider to the force feedback menu and then in version 0.44 they talk about uh, just some minor changes that they've made here that you can see, um, you know, to uh, fine tune it as they go. And then they release the uh, hopefully slightly more tested uh, settings to the public. But, you know, it gives me a great chance to uh, try them out. And one of the, the other things that I'm going to do in this video to test out, because I ha actually hadn't driven the Group A cars in a video other than for my personal uh, um, you know, uh, recreation to see what the cars are like, but they've fixed uh, some gear ratios for both models here, and I wanted to now finally test that out. And so for those of you that have never uh, actually seen the beta version or not quite sure what I mean when I refer to it, if you look at this page here, which is the opening page of the full version of Automobilista 2 and look in the bottom right, you'll see the uh, version number, but the key thing is the 0.4.1. And if we go to the control options, it's the default that everyone knows. So this uh, here, where it's got four um, sliders, if you count the menu spring, which really doesn't do anything for the force feedback, but it has the four sliders. Now, if I go to that same menu of the beta version, you can see it's been increased uh, because I'm lucky enough to own the beta to version 4.4. And now what you'll see is you'll see an extra slider there, a dampening slider. And this is really good for probably not so good for direct drive wheel owners because, you know, they want the full strength of the wheel. But it might be really good for people like myself that own a Logitech G29 that might have a bit of bit of vibration in the wheel and you can play around with the dampening to soften that um, you know if you've got the vibrating you know the little uh, you know kind of sound in your wheel or are you got any problem like that that could hopefully fix it and at least it's an option uh, that you will get uh, when the full uh, update hits in probably on the weekend and so to wrap up I thought on that basis rather than do a race I'd rather do a one-on-one -on -one duel uh, with the BMW, you know, take out the Merc and the BMW and face them off together and see what the force feedback and the gearing is like. So this is Michael signing out for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time. See you later and let's go dueling. Okay, folks, so as we get ready to head off, you know, just keep in mind that for some reason this BMW bogs down on the start finish line. I don't know why that's happening, you know, just another little bug of AMS2, but I've set it to 100 to compensate, and I know it'll catch me very, very quickly. So I'm just going to go flat out while I can hold the lead. And oh man, this thing is just fantastic.
And I have to say that, now given that I've got a Logitech G29, I can't say that I notice a big difference, but the force feedback, uh, maybe with that extra setting or the fine tuning, definitely feels better to me, or the cars feel better. Maybe it's a combination of both the force feedback and the slow tweaks to the car and the gearing and everything. It just feels absolutely brilliant as I try and hold on to this lead because I know I won't have it uh, for for the three laps anyway, that's for sure. So uh, I have to say I, I love um, driving it on the throttle, you know, kind of almost deliberately throwing it around a little bit, you know, being a little bit wild. But these cars, the Group A cars, sort of, um, as we come out of the... And here it comes. <laughs> I knew it would be soon, but uh, didn't think it'd be on the start-finish line of the first lap. But uh, can I outdrag it? Yes, I think I can, but I'm probably going to have to break <laughs> Yep, a little bit early. That's the only thing about the AI is they, you know, they have superb handling and braking. Uh, but I guess that should be the way if you set it to 100. So, but I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, struggling for good there as you could see but it's absolutely awesome Uh, I was so happy when these cars were released, but uh, up till today I didn't really give them much of a, a chance, or, you know, a play I should say. So really, really enjoying this uh, duel between the two cars. Uh, hopefully I can uh, not let it get too far in front of me. I'm catching it now a little bit by the looks of it. But uh, it's just, yeah, coming into those corners, you're trying to keep it balanced. And plus my own natural thing of wanting to throw it in, maybe a bit too hot. Uh, but I just enjoy sliding the car around as we come out of the second uh, lap. With one lap to go now, it's pulling slightly away, but let's see if I can catch it again. Absolutely brilliant feeling this is. I love the sound of it too. Ooh, a bit of a slide there. Just trying to hang on to it. Oh, I probably should have gone back down to third. I think I forgot to go down to third, but I'll do it here and just hang on to it. That's it. I just love sliding this car. It's just made for that chucking about, as we might say in Australia. But uh, yeah, just love sliding there. You can hear the squealing of the tyres. Just brilliant, you know, they're slowly getting it all together. And uh, 
you know, I, I still, uh, knowing how COVID's still affecting Australia, I still keep an open mind as to, uh, even though it might seem a little slow to others, but I just absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, I, I'm looking long term at this uh, sim. I just think it's just going to get better and better. And as you can see by the drawing at the start, as we go to cross the start finish line there with that extra slider and the force feedback, everything is just falling into place. So this is Michael signing out for Single Racer. I'll catch you next time. I hope you enjoyed that. See you later.